Hi everyone, it's Michelle Barada and welcome to Bella Branch TV. Today I have an awesome DIY. It's another back to school DIY or it could be a Christmas present DIY or it could be a birthday present DIY. It's really for anything. It's these cute little notebooks that we're going to cover with all kinds of cool embellishments and scrap paper. You ready to get started? Well, let's go. What you'll need for this project are little notebooks, scrapbook paper, Mod Podge, a foam brush, scissors, and washi tape. Take some scrapbook paper and lay it pretty side down. Then take your book and put it into the corner with about a half inch space. And you see then I took and I put a little dot on each corner of the book. Now I trimmed about a half inch to an inch away from that dot. Next, you're going to take at an angle and you're going to cut right to that point that I just made on that book. Now, if, you're, if it's easier for you, you can always mark it with a ruler and that's easier to follow. Now, lay your book down so the spine is right at that little point and cover one side with Mod Podge. Now, lay it down in the center, press down hard, and then you're going to do the same on the other side. And don't forget to put the glue on the inside of the spine also. Now you're going to smooth that over and press down uh, as well. Now open it up and you're going to fold up the bottom just like I'm showing you here and you're going to do it the same on the top. And you can use a ruler or a straight edge also. Now I trimmed each corner because when you lay it flat that way it's not going to lay over the edges. Now put Mod Podge on it and fold it over and smooth it out. Now I decided to take some washi tape and decorate it. I added the washi tape, just put it right across, folded it inside the flap, flipped it over and did the same thing on the other side. I love that washi tape, it's kind of a sparkly tape. Then I took a little decorative little sticker, put it on there as a label, and I wrote dreams on this book. And I think this book turned out so cute. The next one is a little one, and I covered the entire thing with washi tape. This is a super easy one, and you can just kind of go wild. And you can get a whole pack of different color washi tapes. I got this pack from Paper Source, but I also saw it at Michael's. For this next one, all I did was I took some gold leaf paint and I painted it straight across and I wrote love. Then I took some washi tape and just added that throughout the book. This next one I covered in a really cute blue patterned paper. Then I took a little white piece of paper covered it on the edges with that gold leaf paint that I had and then I stamped with some silver stamp ink on the corners. Then what I decided was I wanted to add some trim so I put some velvet ribbon on the bottom. And then I decided I needed one more little thing and I added a starfish stamp right in the center. Love this one. Next is a cute little one I covered in heart paper and then I thought I'm gonna add a little more. I found some paper that was from, looks like an old map, added it to the bottom. Then I decided to add a cute little sticker on the top, some red stripe washi tape and then I wrote travels on this. Last but not least, here I added a really cute paper on this one, added some washi tape on the top and the bottom, and then found a really cute uh, printout that said love and all the definitions of love on there. Then I took the gold leafing paint and I painted right along the edge and not perfectly because I kind of wanted it to look like it bleeded off the edge. 
I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think they turn out fantastic. They were super easy to make and they'll fit your perfect style. Be sure to check out one of my other videos. Here's a no sew pencil case, no sewing whatsoever, and also a tie-dye dorm room surprise in my son's dorm room at USC. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Be sure to comment. I get back to all my comments. And until next time, bye.